Welcome to our Nose Creek Sport Physical Therapy video blog tip of the month. Today's topic is how to fit your computer workstation to your physical size. When you go back to your computer workstation, the first thing I want you to do tomorrow is I want you to grab the chair that you sit on, turn it around so it faces the chair, put the pan of the chair into your, your leg. The bottom seat of the chair, the pan of the chair, should hit you just below your kneecap is what we like to see normally. That's the proper seat height for your physical height of your body. Then you're going to have a seat on your chair. When you sit on your chair, if your chair has the ability to tilt forwards or backwards, we want to actually make sure that the adjustment is tilted just slightly forwards. And the reason for that is we want to share 50% of the weight on the back of our sit bones and 50% underneath the back of our thighs. And then we're going to just make sure the chair fits us. There should be able, you should be able to fit a fist width between the back of your calf and the front of your seat pan. For those of you uh, that are shorter, you're likely, if your back of your calf is hitting the chair, then that's too big of a seat pan. You need a smaller chair. And that will affect the blood flow through your calf during the day if you're pinching that all day long. Once you've got yourself sitting in the chair, you want to have a look at the back of your chair. We want to adjust this so that it vertically holds you up and it sort of reinforces that nice upright posture so that you can sit comfortably. And again, it's assisting that nice posture that you have. The other thing we'll look at is when you're in the position, when you place your hands on your keyboard, ideally we want to see that your elbows and your hips are bent to about 90 to 100 degrees. And then once we've got that set up, when we set our hands down, our wrists should be fairly neutral. They should be fairly flat. They shouldn't be cocked back in an upright position or they shouldn't be flexed forward. If they are, you're at high risk for tendonitis problems as well as carpal tunnel syndrome. So we want to be able to comfortably just rest our hands there. Now when we look up at our monitor, the top visual part of your monitor should be at your eye level. And that's a really important issue. A lot of offices that, that I go into these days, uh, they just have the monitor sitting on the desk. And as the day goes on, what happens is you naturally will bend forwards and slouch to get yourself closer to that monitor. So it's really important to get that monitor up because visually if the monitor is up, it'll keep you and reinforce you in that upright posture. And the very last point I'd like to make when you're adjusting your workstation to fit you is the monitor should be greater than an arm's length away from your body. So when you sit into your position and you're typing comfortably, we should see that just beyond your arm's length. Uh, and then that will reduce any chance of eye strain and it should be comfortable for you to work at that level. So there's a few tips today for you to make yourself comfortable at your workstation. I'd like you to take that list and apply that and see if you can't modify your workstation a little bit. These things don't cost a lot of money. Raising the monitor up can be simply done by putting a ream of photocopy paper underneath if you just need an inch. If you need three inches, you can use last year's yellow pages uh, to make a big difference in, in the height of that monitor. And the other thing I'd like to say is that I'd like you to click below on the link and you'll be able to download this handout This is what I just talked about on our website as well so that you have something you can take as a checklist to work tomorrow and you can look at modifying your uh, seat position. Especially if you sit for a living, it's really important to sit comfortably in the right ergonomic posture. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of sort of what I call postural compression and postural pain. And after you've made these changes, if you're still having problems, then don't be afraid to give us a call and seek help. Uh, we've got uh, two locations in Beddington and Thorncliffe, and uh, we would love to help you out if this doesn't resolve your, what I call, postural pain. My name is Blair Schachterly on behalf of Nose Creek Sport Physical Therapy team, where we get you moving faster and feeling better. Take care and oh, sit straighter. Bye-bye.